Here, we'll show you how to find the square root of a number using something called prime factors. Let's have a look at Matt. He has memorized the perfect squares of many numbers, such as 12 and 13. So he knows that 12 squared is 144, and 13 squared is 169, for example. Therefore, he knows that the square root of 144 is 12, and the square root of 169 is 13. But what about the square root of 225? Matt can't remember that one. But his friend Liz can help. She knows an easy method called prime factorization. But how does prime factorization work? Let's have a look. First of all, let's review what a prime number is. A prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself or one. And it must be a whole number greater than one. We'll just consider the first few prime numbers here. They are 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. It's really useful to memorize these. Here's how we use prime factors to find the square root of 225. Because this number ends in 5, we know it's divisible by 5. So we can use long division to divide 225 by 5. 5 goes into 22 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20, so we'll write 20 here. 22 minus 20 is 2. And we'll bring down the 5. 5 goes into 25 5 times exactly. So 225 divided by 5 is 45. So we can say that 225 is 5 times 45, and write it here. 5 is a prime number, and we can't divide it any further but we can factor 45 into 5 times 9, which we'll write down here. We'll also bring this 5 down and write it here. This is to remind us that 225 is the same as 5 times 5 times 9. Again, this 5 is also a prime number, but 9 is divisible. We can factor 9 into 3 times 3 which we'll write down here. We'll also bring this 5 down here and write a multiplication sign here. This shows us that 225 is 5 times 5 times 3 times 3. Just take a few seconds and check this out for yourself. Three is a prime number, so these threes cannot be divided any further. So these numbers, 5, 5, 3, and 3, are the prime factors of 225. We'll move these a bit and tidy up. What we do with these pairs of identical prime factors is circle them, like this. We take the square root by bringing down one of each pair. 5 is the square root of 5 times 5, and 3 is the square root of 3 times 3. So we can state that the square root of 225 is 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. So the square root of 225 is equal to 15. So we've used this method of prime factorization to find that the square root of 225 is 15. So with Liz's help, Matt now knows that the square root of 225 is 15. But what about really big numbers like 2500? Can we use this method for these? Liz reminds them that it will work as long as the number we're taking the square root of is a perfect square. To find the square root of 2500, we write 2500 here. Because it ends in two zeros, we know it's divisible by 100. Dividing 2500 by 100 gives us the factors 25 times 100. Neither of these are prime numbers so we can factor both of them. 25 is divisible by 5. We'll break down 25 into 5 times 5. We can factor 100 in several different ways. Let's break it down to 5 times 20. So we'll write down 100 as 5 times 20. We'll add a multiplication sign here. 
because 5 times 5 times 5 times 20 is equal to 2500. These three fives are all prime numbers, so they can't be divided anymore. However, the 20 is not a prime number. It can still be factored into smaller numbers. One way is to break it down into 5 times 4. So we'll write 20 as 5 times 4. The 5 is a prime number and cannot be divided anymore. But 4 is not prime. It can still be divided by 2. Dividing 4 by 2 gives us 2 times 2. These are all prime numbers. So we're now finished factoring 2500 into prime factors. Now we'll move these a bit closer together. And we know the product of all of these numbers is 2500. Just take a few seconds now and check this out for yourself. Now we'll circle each pair of identical prime factors and bring one of each number down. A single 5, a single 5, and a single 2. We can also bring down the multiplication signs. Now this single 5 is the square root of the product 5 times 5. And this single 5 is also the square root of the product 5 times 5. And this single 2 is the square root of the product 2 times 2. So we can say that these three numbers multiplied together is the square root of 2500. So the square root of 2500 is 5 times 5, which is 25, times 2, which equals 50. So now we know the square root of 2500 is 50. And again, using prime factorization, Matt knows that the square root of 2500 is 50. Matt is grateful to Liz for showing him this method of prime factorization. Liz answers that this method will help us find the square root of any perfect square. We'll let Matt summarize the process for us. First, we keep factoring the number until we get right down to all the prime factors. Then we group the prime factors into pairs and circle each pair. Then we take one number from each pair and write it below the pair. And multiply these numbers. This gives us the square root of the original number. Liz congratulates Matt for summarizing the process so well. Of course, to get good at this, Matt needs a lot of practice. And so do we.